the Big Bang idea doesn't make as much sense now that the James Webb Space Telescope has found new information. The James Webb Space Telescope just made an amazing finding that is shaking the field of physics worldwide. With one stunning picture, it ended long-running arguments which has left experts speechless. No more guessing. The Webb Space Telescope's most recent discovery is both stunning to look at and a game-changer that could change the way we see the world. What heated argument among experts has this picture finally put an end to? How does the beautiful picture taken by the James Webb Space Telescope change the way we think about the universe? Come see why it's getting bad as we look at the image that ends the physics argument that James Webb found. One of the main problems in astrophysics is that scientists can't agree on how old the universe is or how fast it is growing. Scientists of all generations have been puzzled by this unsolved phenomenon, and they are doing a lot of different study to find answers. Scientists who study cosmology try to figure out how the world was made, how it works, how it has changed over time, and how it will end in the end. In the last 100 years, there has been a lot of progress in this area. The Big Bang Theory, which is the most popular theory in cosmology right now, says that the universe has been growing for about 13.8 billion years, starting out very hot and dense. The Hubble constant, which shows how fast the universe is growing, is used to measure this growth. But it's not easy to figure out how to measure the Hubble constant. There are two main types of measurements for the Hubble constant, local measurements and measurements from the early universe. Local readings look at things in space like Cepheid variable stars and type Ia supernovae, which are used as standard candles to measure the Hubble constant because of how bright they are. Astronomers can figure out how far away these objects are by measuring how the expansion of the universe changes their speeds. This lets them figure out the Hubble constant. There are two groups. The second group is measurements of the early world. Scientists use readings of the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, CMB, which was found in the 1960s to be the glow left over from the Big Bang. The microwave energy from the early universe, when the universe was only 380,000 years old, was seen by the CMB. Astronomers can figure out how old the universe is and how fast it is expanding by measuring the tiny temperature and polarization ripples that the CMB sends out. However, there is a problem. These two methods do not give the same results. The finding from local measurements backs up our guess that the universe is expanding faster than the CMB data suggests. Scientists have been working hard to figure out why the results are different because of these differences. In order to find out more about the mysteries of the universe, more study is being done. The different measurements show that either we don't know about any new science yet, or there are mistakes in one or both of the ways we are measuring things. We can see farther into the darkness of space than ever before, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. Because of what it can do, the telescope can show us elements, planets, and galaxies that we would not have thought were possible to see. Scientists naturally thought that information from the web would help them figure out the Hubble constant more accurately. The first wave of data, on the other hand, has made things a lot more difficult. They've taught us new things that don't fit with what we thought we knew. Could this information help us come up with a new idea about space that changes the way we think about it? If so, we might need to think again about what we know about how the universe works. For example, we might find particles and forces that have never been seen before. Or it could mean that dark energy, the unknown force that is speeding up the growth of our universe, needs to be looked at again. As we keep finding new things, our ideas about space have changed over time. One example is the cosmic microwave background radiation that scientists found in 1965. It was strong proof for the Big Bang Theory. Before that, scientists thought the universe would last forever, which meant it would keep growing at the same rate. However, the new proof showed that wasn't true. Also, when we learned near the end of the 1990s that the universe was growing all the time, we learned about dark energy and how it affected the expansion. So whenever we learn something new, we check to see if it fits with what we already know. We come up with new ways to understand the universe better if not. Because of this, the problem we're having in cosmology right now could lead to the finding of the best ways to fix the universe. Although the problem is difficult, it is also exciting because it pushes us to make better tools for exploring space. Scientists from all over the world are interested in this cosmological problem because they all want to know more about the universe. 
the most important thing is that it shows how science is always growing and changing as we learn more about space. The S8 tension is another worry that goes along with the Hubble tension. This is about how matter is spread out in space in the world. You can use this to make a structure of the world and see how it has changed over time. This is called lumpiness by scientists because some parts of space have a lot of galaxies close together and other parts don't have many. Different methods will be used by the scientists to find out how big this lumpiness is. A possible answer is to look at how the different densities of big things, like galaxy groups, bend light from galaxies far away. Gravitational lensing is the name for this bending. It lets us look into where dark matter is since it doesn't give off light and is therefore undetectable. Scientists also use the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, which is a glow left over from the Big Bang. This light has been moving for about 13.8 billion years, carrying messages from the beginning of the world. Scientists can figure out how the universe was lumpy when it was first created by analyzing the CMB. This should match how the universe is observed to be lumpy right now on a large scale. But there's a catch, these numbers don't match up either. The lumpiness of the CMB, which is shown by the non-spherical gravity distribution model, suggests that the early universe's matter distribution was more even than what was seen with gravitational lensing. We can guess that there is something else we are not taking into account in the interpretation. This takes us back to the idea of dark matter. What does dark matter really mean, and how does it work? The question still hasn't been answered, though, but there is still hope. The James Webb Space Telescope will change the field of astronomy with its camera sensitivity and clarity that have never been seen before. The telescope will look into the early times of the universe and find out how the first galaxies and stars came to be. This lets us get better measures of how the universe is expanding and how matter is spread out. In order to answer these important questions, we will need to carefully observe things and maybe come up with new theoretical methods. Finding out more about dark energy, learning completely new physics, or even just getting a better idea of how dark matter behaves will have huge effects on many areas of life. Trying to figure out the mysteries of the world is like putting together a zillion-piece puzzle while wearing blindfolds. Scientists are like thorough detectives who are concerned with figuring out what's going on. Project Flamingo, NASA's newest effort, shows that the agency is becoming more and more interested in scientific exploration. Project Flamingo is a huge step forward in computer science. It uses one of the most famous supercomputers in the world, which is located at Durham University in Britain. It takes more than 50 million computer hours to make and has 30,000 processors and more. The activity shows that scientists are determined to study the whole universe with a main focus on dark matter, the strange substance that doesn't give off, absorb, or reflect light, but is thought to exist because it pulls visible matter together. Scientists are still puzzled by how hard to find it is. Project Flamingo, on the other hand, takes a different method than other simulations. It includes all kinds of cosmic things, from stars and black holes at the center of the universe to galaxies with very different amounts of gas. From a simple sketch of a landmass, the representation of the world changed over time using a method that was organized in this way. The goal of big projects like Project Flamingo is clear, to figure out why data that don't seem to match up with the structure of the universe are causing cosmic conflicts. Differences in measurements like these show that we don't fully understand how the world works right now. If you want to compare these metrics to types of music, jazz and classical are like these metrics. Each has its own style, but is still linked. Flamingo tries to bring these different points of view together and help us all understand the universe better. But even though it was complicated, the cosmic strain stayed. This conflict still exists as humbling proof that we haven't figured out a lot of the mysteries in the world. It looks like the world doesn't want to share its secrets with us right now. We get a bigger and bigger set of problems to solve as we add more data points and modeling models to our toolbox, like Flamingo. Every time you find an answer, it brings up new questions, which makes the search never-ending. It shows that our quest to figure out the mysteries of the world is complicated and always changing. In the early 1900s, Edwin Hubble made the amazing finding that the universe is expanding. Since then, our understanding has grown at an amazing rate. The Big Bang Theory, dark matter, and dark energy are just a few of the new things scientists are finding out about the size and shape of the world. 
They looked into the galaxy by looking at the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, and carefully writing down the galaxy's places and speeds with more and more detail. It's like getting another important piece of the universe puzzle with each of these big steps. We are now more motivated to learn and try to understand the universe better because of this. The world is, in fact, very mysterious, and it might not be a good idea to reveal its truths too soon. At each stage of their research, scientists add new questions, revised models, and better ideas. The theory that the Big Bang Theory puts forward was once very controversial, but now it is seen as an important part of scientific knowledge. In the same way, dark matter is no longer just an idea. It is a real part of the puzzle we call the universe. Dark energy is an unknown force that is driving the expansion of the universe. It was discovered in the late 20th century and is now one of the most important parts of understanding the universe. Now let's look more closely at the different ways scientists have tried to figure out how the universe has been expanding over time. Even though they've worked hard, some things still haven't come together. A long time ago, most people thought that everything in the sky, including the sun, the stars, and all the planets, moved around the Earth. Some people, like Copernicus and Galileo, disagreed with this geocentric view. They believed that the Earth and other planets went around the sun, which was a completely new way of looking at the world. Now, in the 20th century, Einstein showed us a completely new way to think about the world around us. He came up with a model in which space and time are not two different things, but rather a four-dimensional structure called space-time where they merge. His discoveries showed that the world is always changing. Hubble's studies in 1929 showed that galaxies were moving away from each other, which meant the universe was getting bigger. Scientists used this fact to come up with the Big Bang Theory, which says the universe started from a very small point and has been getting bigger ever since. At first, everyone agreed with the idea that gravity would finally stop inflation. In the 1990s, however, astrophysicists found something very surprising. The universe is not only growing, but it is also expanding faster. Because of this surprising finding, scientists came up with the idea of dark energy, a mysterious force that pushes things in the universe apart. The Flamingo Project became an important player in this field because it provided more than just a normal supercomputer exercise. As a very realistic virtual reality model of the universe, it used information from the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, and measurements of galaxies to make a digital picture of the whole thing. The main objective was to find out if, based on what we know about physics now, the early universe could easily change into the complicated structure we see now. One interesting thing about Flamingo is that it takes into account both dark and light matter in the virtual world. This is different from other models that usually don't think about light matter. Taking a look at a car's frame, engine, seats, and wheels can help you understand how this fully developed method works. However, Flamingo failed to explain the difference between the clumpiness seen in the CMB and that in the nearby universe. Astronomers were having a hard time figuring out why the universe's expansion rate and the spread of matter were not matching up. Astronomers had to look for new models because the rate of cosmic growth and the distribution of matter were still not matching up. Some people think that to explain the contradictions, we will need to come up with new physics and rules that go beyond what we already know. Certain people think that the way we measure or think about dark energy might be wrong. So, the tension in S8 is a traditional pattern of mystery, with the universe itself as the main puzzle. Putting it all together, the latest telescopes and advanced models have not really solved the mystery. We are now at the edge of the cosmic cliff, where the unknown is hidden. One of the great things about science is that it allows us to keep learning. Every question we ask leads us to a new part of the quest, and every experiment and exercise helps us learn more about the mysteries of the universe. With its advanced features, the James Webb Space Telescope has given us pictures and data that are sharper than ever before. These have added new layers of complexity to the problems that are already happening in cosmology. It shows galaxies that are spread out more than what our present theories predicted. There is still a mismatch, even though a lot of work has been put into it, including complex models like the Flamingo Project that are meant to include both normal and dark matter effects. The goal of Flamingo was to connect our theoretical models with facts from observations, but the universe has been harder to explain than we thought. Now where are we? 
our models of the universe are facing big problems, which could mean a paradigm shift where we need to look over our theoretical roots. These problems aren't failures. They're just stepping stones that help us understand things better. It takes scientists longer to come up with new ideas or theories because of each new finding. Every new problem or tension is a sign that science and our ideas about the world need to be fixed. There are changes in the world that are unlike any other. The details are kept in order by an unknown force in the nature of physics. Even though there are a lot of complicated issues, we still want to learn more about what we have, which puts us on the path to finding out more mysteries about the universe. When we reach the edges of what seems like an endless universe, where understanding is fuzzy and unclear, we are faced with situations that force us to come up with new ways and ideas for understanding. Every new finding that doesn't fit with our models is a clue that could lead us to new physics that gives us new ways to understand how the universe works at its most basic level. The most important thing about science is that it can fix itself. Every new finding adds to the body of knowledge we already have, and every strange event or problem makes us think about how to better explain the universe. The study of the universe is still going on thanks to better telescopes, more accurate computer simulations, and a group of dedicated scientists who want to figure out what the universe is all about. The world isn't just the edge of what we know. It's the biggest puzzle ever, and putting it all together is one of the biggest problems we face right now. As we start this journey through space, it is important to stay interested in every new finding and idea we have. We are getting better at understanding the amazing things in the universe. Expect a lot of surprises along the way. Each one will give you a glimpse into the deepest parts of the world. We are getting closer to answering age-old questions like, what is the universe? And where do we fit in it with each new discovery? As we look ahead, this cosmic journey has a lot of options. The information we've gathered could show us new things about the sky, help us learn more about dark matter and energy, or even show us proof of life on other planets. Also, tools will keep getting better as we explore space and learn more about how the universe works.